All right, well, today in the old race trailer, camper, slash, toy hauler, slash, could be my home if the wife kicks me out. Uh, tire sizing and how we do it, why we do it, and when will I start forcing it to be where I want it to be come race day. I always keep, it depends on how you're sizing it, like, Normally your right size comes small and they measure in around 33 and something. And the way we run our go-kart it's 34, 33, 34, 32 and a half, give or take on the front. And same way with the left. We are we'll adjust the rears for the stagger. And a lot of times adjusting the stagger depends on what kind of track you're on. Flat track, bank track, long straightaway, short straightaways. And uh, I'll explain the difference and all that. So, these right here have a lot of air pressure because we have to stretch them. So, these are set at 25 PSI, and I think these were set at 20. But just to get it to go where I want it to be at the desired track pressure. So, if you're going to be racing that, you know, three or four pound split, you want to let the air out of it, have it at three and four, measure it. If it's too small, obviously you got to stretch it. If it's too big, you got to shrink it. So what you would do if you want to, you know, instead of a lot, adding a lot of air to stretch it and let it sit here, you're going to take air out of it. Now we've gone as far as having to buy some ice and put it in the cooler and have ice water to really dip it in there and just suck that tire at, together and shrink that tire to where we want it. And a lot of time that's done at the racetrack to get it quick and get it done quick. Um, now, a lot of people, and I didn't know this, you know, onto the theories of it until I started racing and getting taught, you know, more on what stagger was, how it affects the go-kart and what it's needed for. So, what you got, and come in here, we can, what we'll tell people, what we'll show people, and it's, this was how it explained to me and then the light bulb went off in my head and I realized what it was and why you needed it. You needed a lot or you didn't, or you needed less. Now, if you look, this side of the cup is big, this side of the cup is small, so we would use this as your 34 inch tire on the right side and the 33 on the left and the rear, or same way 33, or 34 here, and 32 and a half, or whatever you set your left front. The purpose of the stagger is to like, when I put this cup on the table, it automatically going to turn left. Because this side's smaller and this side is bigger. It's going to turn left. So what that does, that helps you get through the corner quicker. Now where it can hurt you, and uh, you know, is how banked the track is, how last or how banked the track is in the corners, and also it can hurt you or help you down the straightaway. So if you got, you know, a huge amount of stagger like this cup is right here, you know, just in comparison, as you're going down the straightaway, it's always trying to do this. So it's pulling against your front. And you know, when they talk, everybody talk about road speed and scrub speed and all that. That's what's happening is you're losing it as you're going down the straightaway. Because it's always trying to find that corner to where it'll just whip you through the corner. So you've got to know on the track that you're racing if you run more or less stagger and a go-kart. And um, the way we found about 95% of the time, we don't even mess with it. We just set it at an inch in the rear and that's where we run on every track. Now. If we were, uh, you know, up front runners and we were always running up front and we were trying to find that secret little here and there, you know, we would probably chase that a little bit more. But we're consistent that we are, you know, finishing in the top five or, you know, absolutely sucking in qualifying and we get trying to race our way to the front. We always wreck and get taken out or we just can't make it back to the front, you know, which probably maybe is a bad attitude on how to set your go-kart up and wanting to push for the front. But that's how we, it was explained to us, is that, you know, the, the stagger always wants to turn. And then if too much stagger, as you're going down straight waves, it's going to try to turn and you're trying to fight it to keep that left side even with the right side as it's going down there. So your scrub speed. And that's why you'll see um, your groove in your track. People try to arc that straightaway as much as possible coming out. So it's, it's literally trying to make a big circle. If your track was a circle, you could set up your stagger and just hold the wheel steady as it just keeps going around and around in a circle. And that's what say when you got those long straightaways, you need to pull just 
a little bit of stagger out so it's not forcing and trying to get you down the track turn you into the center of the track but there's also a lot of other factors that factor into that is like your cross on the front or your stagger in the front then the cross on the go-kart how much weight's on the left side how much weight's on the right side and how much the tires grip going through the corners and going down the straightaway so that's where it all factors in but find one factor that you want and you want to master it and work it into your go-kart setup at home and then at the track so right now just to show you an example this tire is measuring at like 33 it's not on there straight on the tire but we're measuring around 33 and a quarter a little under 33 and a quarter and we want this to be at 33 so like I said I'm pretty sure this is at 23 pounds and I aired it up to 25 I aired it up to 30 and it, and it didn't get no bigger Where's the tire so if it gets to the point that when we drop it down to the, the race pressure we think we're going to race at the track and it's still not holding it's still not holding we'll put a lot of air in it and throw some heat at it to really hope to get it stretched out and we're at seven seven and a half pounds in right now and then as we're prepping these they're going to grow a little bit too because we're going to add just a small amount of heat in it through the week and then the heat we start throwing at it on thursday thursday night and friday will actually cause it to stretch a lot more because we're going to be really throwing a lot of heat in it to try to get the prep done in there to get it race ready for saturday now once again i want to say this is how we do it this is how i've been taught this is probably off a little bit from what I've been taught and how we do it and uh, or how other people do it so this is the way we do it you can take it as word of gospel word of, you know facts or whatever you want to do it but just remember this is how we do it and sometimes we get it right sometimes we don't we're more worried about going out and having fun and so as long as I'm spending time with my kids in the trailer and at the track you know we'll learn that plan that gets us out out front and gets us rolling and luckily we have a good engine builder Tim Harold that helps us a lot and you know if we're falling off our game he'll come over and give us pointers and help us to get us back and um you know and just other racers in general you know have helped us out that's why the <coughs> it's kind of hard you know to say that the racing community sucks sometimes but a, and a majority of the time, they, they help each other out. Now, they're probably not going to tell you the exact secrets because then if they do, and you get faster than them, then they, they, they're losing now. And, uh, but my mentality is if, if, if I'm doing something, I'll try to tell you as much as I can without giving you all the secrets. And, uh, but, you know, you can set somebody up for success, you know, perfect tires, perfect engine, and per perfect go-kart. But if they don't know how to drive it, then they're going to not be that good. And then they go off and say that you did them wrong or you were cheating, they're cheating, somebody, everybody around them is cheating. And the uh, number one rule and joke in the go-kart world is the person that screams about the cheating the most is probably the ones that are cheating and can't figure out why they're losing. Um, but that's our tire stagger, what stagger does and what we've learned. And and we might I might have explained it wrong. If I did, somebody tell us in the comments, hey, dummy, you said it wrong. This is really how it works and what it needs to happen. And just a good rule of thumb, too, is the less stagger you can run and make your go-kart run through the corners, the quicker you'll be down the straightaway. You know, we've gone out and tried to run like 7-8 stagger and almost close to no stagger and see how we can make it turn through the corners. And it didn't quite work out well for us, but there's, uh, you have to remember that there's more to just prepping tires and getting on the go-kart and going. And that's what I think a lot of people are getting out of is like if you go in with your tires prepped a certain way and you think you've got them perfect and you're not you're not running right there could be other things you can adjust on your go-kart to bring your go-kart towards your tire that you're running but you have to be able to consistently have your tires the same way so that you're not chasing them one weekend and the next weekend you walk up and your tires are perfect but your go-kart's wrong and you're trying to adjust your go-kart or your tires are wrong 
and your go-kart's perfect and you're trying to adjust your tires, you have to prep them the same way every way, every time. As close as you can. Weather conditions and other things permitted will change the way your tires are prepped and what track you're using. But that's what we got. We're going to get off here. We showed you prep yesterday. And uh, we're going to get off here and get some good prep wrapped into these. And then we have to go out and buy some fuel and some other stuff to get ready for Saturday. So peace out. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.